I look at MOL as a poster child of applying digital technology in the refining and oil and gas sector. The oil and gas industry is facing decreasing demand, uh, increasing variability in the crudes, and increasing competition from those who are really leveraging digital technology and digital transformation. Why MOL is a poster child is they use Pi to go after specific business problems and once they got a problem solved, they, they established momentum, they established awareness and ultimately they're able to transform and attach their digital transformation to drive business transformation because at the end of the day, it's about making me more money. It is the environment of the uh, uh, Central Europe. There is a flagship when they first started, they had four different uh, countries, each, again, with their own language and, and cultures, etc., and they now speak the language of Pi, meaning that Pi is the tool by which they normalize their communications. In the local side and global side, we year by year implemented new and new application programming or new processes uh, in Pi based. One of the most interesting applications is they're using Azure Machine Learning on a, on a coker. And so they were able to achieve 2% increase in yield. And so they ended up saving $12 million per coker unit. They have now implemented that over across their four coking units and, and saved over $48 million a year. And now I would like to show you one of the Pi solutions that is based on the corrosion and integrity prediction. MOL took about a week to develop the basic high temperature hydrogen attack uh, smart object. Once they had their foundation in, they had this particular application, they were able to roll it out across their entire refining system over the course of two months. They have modified the inspection of uh, the, the assets where they're not even taking them down to inspect them because they can now make database decisions on whether the particular pipe node has been exposed to high temperature hydrogen attack phenomena. This uh, new downstream program and next downstream program last five years uh, take more than one billion dollars uh, clean EBITDA in all downstream. They recently uh, got uh, Petroleum Economist's Downstream Company of the Year by stating that they have digitally transformed resulting in over a billion dollars of EBITDA over the last four years using doing this digital transformation.